Today, I'm going to talk about PWA and inclusive capitalism. Oh, I have some moves. <laughs> Didn't expect that. So who am I? My name is Portia, principal developer at Cecil Digital Agency. And, but most importantly, what is PWA? PWA stands for Progressive Web Apps. Um, they're reliable, fast, and engaging. Reliable meaning the website should load even though there's a poor connection. Fast, intelligent caching, and usually the site is static. Engaging, app-like without the user needing to go to um, an app store, or needing to go to um, like a Google App Store to download the, your app. Why is this important? We've heard software is eating the world, but in that definition, e-commerce is eating the world. Amazon is a great example of this. If you look at the past 20 years, um, there are stores such as Sears or JCPenney's, uh, local stores that have been around for um, decades that are not being able to compete in this environment of e-commerce, and they're going out of business. Um, this is important when we talk about e-commerce because what fuels e-commerce in many cases and what makes it efficient and what makes it something that we can count upon is speed. According to Amazon, Amazon detest and they would lose 1.6 billion every year if they slowed down by every second. So this is a really good perspective to have when you're doing your perf test. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everyone has access to fast and reliable internet connection. Um, there are many places, we're talking about 5G, but there are many places that have 2G and there are many places that, that don't have reliable connection in general. What we're looking at, this is from 2016. Um, I don't think it's changed that much in the past three years. So in this case, speed equals money. Slow connections economically leave communities behind. There are many people that are not able to sell their wares and to scale their businesses due to the fact of poor um, internet infrastructure. Slow websites act as a barrier to economic prosperity. That's the end of the presentation. Okay, no, I actually do have some solutions. Um, <laughs> So PWA, um, progressive web apps can solve for speed and wonky internet connection. This is not a magic bullet. This is not the answer to all problems, but this is a tool in our toolkit in order to make e-commerce more accessible to people around the world. Um, one way that you can easily, <clears throat> one way that you can easily, more straightforwardly um, implement Progressive web apps is to use Gatsby. Uh, Gatsby documentation is great in terms, in this case, because it explains what PWA is. It explains that it's um, a set of best practices and how to implement it. So if you were starting a Gatsby site, you can use Gatsby plugins to help create a PW uh, progressive web app for you. Um, the two plugins that you would need in this case would be Gatsby plugin manifest and the plugin online. You would go into the Gatsby config, and this is where you would um, see the plugin manifest and uh, plugin offline. It makes the manifest for you. And results. Let's see how this will work. So. I created um, an e-commerce site using Gatsby. Um, this is Shop Awaka. Awaka is one of the poorest places in Mexico. It has like 61% poverty. But that being said, it has many tourists and visitors there. And one of the reasons why so many people go there, um, besides the history, the rich culture, is the there are many wares that you can find that is a reflection of the culture. And there are people who sell. Um, the clothing and wares that you can't, you can only find in Awaka. Unfortunately, the sellers have to wait for you to go there. Wouldn't it be nice for the sellers to be able to scale like an Amazon? So this is um, a website where they'll be able to do so. So let's say they would like to buy Mayan chocolate. 
They can go over here. Um, it's pretty fast. And if we would go to Lighthouse, which is over here, and we go to our audits, we run our audits, the moment of truth. <laughs> And, and thank you. <laughs> this is, I really like Light, I actually use Lighthouse um, and the command line. The CLI interface is amazing. Um, this is, so as you can see here, this is a progressive web app. Um, the performance is 99, the SEO is 100, so this is, um, a design to, this is a decision that you can get marketing folks and you can also get engineers who agree upon this kind of framework. And when you're thinking about different frameworks, when you're thinking about different practices, it's good to think about what will be good for the broader community. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope that you would have fun working with this as well, which brings me to my presentation, the end of my presentation. <laughs> So here is my contact information. Um, the web, I have listed the website and the slide deck. So if this is something that you want to implement in your own, um, as a hobby or is at your own place of work, here's the information. Uh, it was great. Thank you very much.